Welcome to the Everything Yachting YouTube channel. Our goal is to help yacht buyers, yacht owners, and yacht sellers through interesting, educational, and informative discussions on topics that are anything and everything yachting related. All right, uh, welcome to uh, outside uh, this beautiful Marlow 66. We are getting ready to take our shore power cords off and I wanted to talk to our young ladies and talk about how we disconnect the boat from the shore as we get ready to put our shore power cords back in to our uh, 66 foot Marlow. So if you look here, if you focus on this power pedestal ladies, so just like we have at home, we have a breaker. So you can lift up that little uh, bow, you know, flap if you would and there's a breaker right here. So you would turn that breaker off. It's like turning off a light switch. We turn that breaker off. That disconnects the power coming from the shore to our power cord. And in layman's terms, we call that the extension cord that plugs our boat in, right? right, right, right. So we're gonna disconnect then. You know, we have that off and now we're gonna go to the opposite side. It's gonna be hard to see from our camera angle, but you can see all I did was lift up that flap and turn And So Tina, go ahead and turn that breaker okay. off. So you there can you see, go. just like a light yep. switch, right? Off and on. Now, <laughs> Summer, if you come over here, you'll see we have a little flap here. And all we're gonna do is disconnect our power cord. It is just a little bit of a turn. So about a 16th of a turn. Feel that little bit of a turn right there? That's the lock. So Summer, go ahead and turn that. There you go. And then pull it straight out. There you go. All it, all it does is unplug. So it's, it's just a series of, of locks that goes in there. So unplugging it is a whole lot easier than plugging it back in because it looks like it could go a couple different ways. So if you happen to be the one that has to plug it in, typically I use one hand to hold it here and I'm trying to find where it fits. It will only fit one way. So you can't do it wrong, but you have to find where it goes in and then turn it to lock it. Make sense? So it unlocks, unplugs. When I am trying to find where it goes, it won't go, it won't go, it won't go. It will only fit in one groove. So there, you can't do it wrong, but it can get frustrating because sometimes they're a little hot, they don't fit right, all of those kind of things happen, and then we're getting frustrated because we can't get it plugged in. And you know, the captain's standing up there going, are you ready yet, are you ready yet? And you're like, give me a chance, you know. You know. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and unplug it, and then we have our power cords here all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start to reel this in just a little bit. And you can see, if uh, if we walk back this way, you can see that on Marlowe's, these cords go into a Glen Denny, and you can see the back end of the boat, we have a, a door right there. And all I'm gonna do is take this power cord and we're gonna set it on the swim platform. Now, if for chance the power pedestal was way far away, all this power cord would be sitting on the dock most important thing of all of this is to take this end with you when you go onto the boat it's not if it's all it's when you drop this into the water so <laughs> so you need to make sure that you take this with you because i'm going to try to keep this as i step across right. with me mm -hmm. and typically i put this on the deck put a foot on it and pull the rest of the cord in if this drops in the water it's not a big deal that part's okay right so then I set this on the deck and I have it ready to go. All I have to do is open the door and inside this door, you can see that there's an access for the power cord to go into. That's called our Glendenny. That's the name brand of the type of unit that's in there that sucks this cord in. I pick up the cords, I put a foot on the end and then go back here and make sure that I'm ready to pull this cord in. The, the uh, one thing to make sure of is that this little flap is all the way up and in the locked position. If it's down here and it starts to get sucked in, this flap will pinch this cord and strip some of the uh, some of the insulation off. So you wanna make sure that it's all the way up. When I push it down, it goes in. All I'm gonna do is feed it in. I'm hand feeding it in. I'm just making sure that I have an end to the cord. Just continuing to feed this in. Here's the end. It will stop automatically when it gets all the way in. So it just stopped automatically. Then I put the switch back into the, to the neutral position, pull this flap down, 
and close up the cover. Make sense? Okay, so Tina, you unplug this one for me. Summer, okay. why don't you come back on the boat? There you go. I'm going to have you see it right here, and we'll do this at the T. There you go. Perfect, Tina. So you're going to take that. I'm going to hold on to this. There you go. So now Thank from you. here, let's yeah. hand this to Summer. So Summer, you take that one and walk it right over there. Tina, why don't you come on board? Okay. Thank you. And we're going to walk together. We'll have our cameraman follow us on over. Good. All right. So Summer just set that on the deck. Put one foot on it. Just to kind of keep in mind, let's open that door. There we go. And you can see the same setup over there. We have two toggle switches on this side. One is our oil pump out switch, so we can change oil from back here. The other one is our Cable Master or Glen Denny switch. So you can see up is out, down and in the center is neutral, and down is in. So Summer, let me have your sweater. I don't think you're going to need that. Thank you. There you go. And you're going to go ahead and, and push that toggle switch down and start to hand feed in that cable. Okay. So you see the cable master just pulls in the cord automatically and you're just going to feed it in. As you start to get towards the end of that, you're just going to keep an eye on this end of the cable, making sure that it doesn't go in the water. Perfect. And just watch your fingers as you hit, as you lead, you know, guide it in. There you go. Perfect. Just like that. You just got to get used in and put it in neutral. There you go. And close the, nope, close the silver flap. There you go. Just like that. And a couple of turns and you're good to go. Perfect. And it's just, just that easy. That's how we pull in the power cords on this beautiful Marlowe 66. We're getting ready to head up to the main helm and we're going to get the engine started. Get ready to take a boat run. Thanks. Thanks for joining us at Everything Yachting. I hope you've enjoyed diving into the yachting world today. If you've enjoyed or learned something, please subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more. Until next time, my friends, healthy families, happy memories, and may fair winds and smooth seas guide your future yachting adventures.